Hey everybody, Ben Nicholson Smith here on trade deadline day. And already the Blue Jays have made a move. They have acquired Robbie Ray, a left-handed pitcher from the Arizona Diamondbacks. And they're sending Travis Bergen, another left-handed pitcher, back to Arizona in the deal. So what does it mean for the Blue Jays? They needed starting pitching and they're acquiring a starting pitcher in Robbie Ray. Now, this is also the starting pitcher who leads the National League right now in walks and in earned runs. So by no means is this the kind of Mike Clevenger, Lance Lynn deal that a lot of Blue Jays fans may have been hoping for. But the 7.84 ERA that Robbie Ray brings to the Blue Jays doesn't really represent who he is as a pitcher either. I think it's fair to say when you look at his track record that Ray is someone who is going to walk a lot of guys. But at the same time, he's got proven strikeout ability. And I think we've seen that this year. The stuff hasn't gone away. So he still has the ability to strike guys out, whether that's in a starting role, maybe even in a bullpen role. Robbie Ray it can be a tough guy to hit. Now, along with that, there's something that a scout pointed out to me today, recently after the trade. Robbie Ray's arm action has really changed in the last year. So if you kind of picture the traditional arm action of a pitcher, that's what he had going up to this year and for most of his career. Then this year, he really started short-arming the ball and basically changing his delivery. It did not work. He was walking tons of guys. He was allowing tons of runs. But in recent outings, the scout that I spoke to said that he's seen Robbie Ray go back to that more traditional delivery. So we'll see if that helps with the Jays. Pete Walker definitely has a project on his hands. I mean, there are no guarantees here as far as what Robbie Ray is going to bring the Blue Jays. I would expect that with one spot open in that rotation, he probably would slot into that rotation, all things being equal. But this is someone who's a bounce back candidate, a free agent after the year. So it's a short term acquisition. He could help the Blue Jays staff. The acquisition costs Bergen, a guy who was a rule five pick a year ago, someone who has only appeared in one game this year, has barely been on the Blue Jays roster. Mild acquisition cost, very you know, modest uh, prospect return for the Blue Jays to give up. And Robbie Ray's intriguing at the very least. So I, I expect the Blue Jays will keep working and keep trying to add. But in the meantime, they've added one starting pitcher with a history of success, even though this year has been a struggle so far for Robbie Ray.